Okay, my name is Jeff Gregg. I'm doing this video on how to watch YouTube videos on Kodi. So you might ask a question why you want to do that. I'll explain that in a minute. To be able to do this, as I always do, and also make a mental note to myself, whenever I do a screen share, I also got to make sure the screen share is always on. Okay, the screen share is on. Okay, I know the screen share is on because it's... Uh, um it, it it doesn't have a little button showing my camera running okay that's cody I'll explain what cody is a little bit later on okay this is whoops i'll go to another one this is whoops i'm on the wrong screen uh we have my desktop okay this is um a normal YouTube, right? This is where I've called up YouTube. One of the problems with YouTube is this thing here. Ads. There's ads in YouTube, right? So YouTube is not much, well, a little bit different, sometimes even worse than watching television. You get ads coming up. In fact, you get ads coming up more often in YouTube than you do on television, and probably more ads, okay? The big advantage of using Kodi, and I'll explain what Kodi is in a minute, to be able to watch YouTube videos is you don't get any ads other than the ads in the video itself, embedded in the video. So it's not you know, just like uh, the old days when they used to have uh, Power of the TV program was the ad. Uh, nowadays, ads are separate and you get interrupted from the TV program to watch an ad. Okay. The only ads that you'll find in Cody are uh, nothing where you get interrupted from the, the movie, uh, the, what, what you're watching. Okay. So uh, that's the difference. So what is Cody? Okay. So if you wanted to, you could go to YouTube and type in what is Cody. I'll type that. What is Cody? What is Cody? You can watch a video that tells you what Cody is. Right. So I could call it up and it'll tell me what Cody is. Long introduction. Better than Windows Media Center, better than anything Apple puts out, it's the best. It's on Apple and Windows PCs, Android, jailbroken iPhones, Linux. Okay. This is a guy promoting what Cody is. Cody runs on anything. It runs, as he said, on PCs, uh, Apple computers, iPhones, uh, I, uh, uh, iPads, uh, little teeny devices like I have uh, Cody running on little cigarette packet size computers called Raspberry Pi, one connected to which computer. If you're going to be using Kodi, it's best to run it on a little computer, all right? If you want to know how you get Kodi, type in, how do I get Kodi? How, how do I get Kodi? And there'll be a YouTube video on how to get Kodi, right? How to install Kodi, all right? Lots of videos on how to install Kodi, etc. all right? However, once you've got Kodi, you can use Kodi to do those sorts of things for you as well. But anyway, uh, once you install Kodi and you get it going, it looks something like this, all right? Going right up to the top here. And by the way, the way I use Kodi is I use little, I use the arrow key, I, the arrow keys to operate it on a keyboard rather than using a uh, the a mouse how to do it. If you, you can actually have Kodi connected and use it with a remote control, I suggest you don't do that. On my main uh, TV set, I have a little um, uh, Logitech keyboard, which has a little touchpad on it. I have that. And then uh, on my uh, Raspberry Pi computer, I have a little dongle thing that goes in, so I use a full keyboard. Okay, when you're in Kodi, you get things like that. Uh, movies, TV shows, music music videos, these are all what's called media. You can even get live TV, which I haven't got set up here, or live radio on Kodi. You also have add-ons, and I'll come back to that in a minute. Pictures is your own pictures. Videos are your own uh, videos. And have a thing called favorite and weather. So it tells you what the weather is at your current location. Right? All that information is all under the heading of media. So Kodi is media center software. Right? And it's very, very sophisticated. It does great things. Okay. All right. 
The thing that we're going to talk about with Cody and most of it is this one here called add-ons. Right? You can add on things to Cody, and there are lots of add-ons, literally thousands, if hundreds of thousands, if not millions of add-ons for Cody. And a very popular add-on is this one here called YouTube. Okay? If you don't have a YouTube add-on, you can get it. The way you get it is you go to add-ons over here, okay? You press enter when you're on add-ons and you get a slightly different screen. And then you go up to the top here, it's where that little item is, is an add-on repository. And it shows you or add-on functionality. And what it says is there's a function called install from repository. If you click, press enter on that, and then, if you, in my case, you may only have one, but you should have at least one called the Kodi add-on repository, and you press enter on that. It then gives you a list of all the different types of add-ons. Now, there are all different types of add-ons in Kodi, but the one that we're interested in is this one, which is called video add-ons, which is the most common add-on that people use, video add-ons. You go into video add-ons and then go through a list. And by the way, this is a big list. I'll just... Put myself at the top of the list. How do I get to the top page at home? Yeah, the top of the list. So there's a list of them in alphabetical order, all right? And by the way, if you're at the top and you want to go to the bottom, they're in alphabetical order. The default is going to be in alphabetical order. There are ways of changing that. And you want to go to the bottom one. You press the up arrow. Notice, I'll do that again. I was on the top one and I was at the three dots there. For press the up arrow, takes me to the bottom one, and YouTube is there. You then just press enter on there. You follow the bouncing ball, and it'll install YouTube for you, on the YouTube add-on, okay? Just by the way, while we're on the lists here, you'll notice I'm pointing at that there, all right? If I have to press the right arrow, notice a little blue bar goes over the top of the right here. Now if I press up and down, down is rather than a line of time. Come back to there, over there. Go to the left, a line at a time, to the right, the screen forward a time, up and down. Okay, to get out of anything in Kodi, you can click somewhere else, but I use the backspace key. Much faster using a keyboard. Press the backspace key, takes me out of that, out of that, out of that, out of that. So I'm back onto that point. Okay, I'm back to add-ons. Now, on your add-ons, once you're in add-ons, you'll see the main category of add-ons is video add-ons, and YouTube should be there. If it's not there, move across and there are more add-ons, okay? okay? By the way, uh, sometimes when you do that, it's, you still can't find it. If I press enter on add-ons uh, and then I go to video add-ons, I can see a lot more add-ons sometimes. Sometimes there's so many add-ons that they don't fit on that first screen, okay? So you just press enter on the add-ons on the left-hand side and it gives you a, a bigger screen. Okay, back to that, back to my add-ons. This is YouTube, all right? When you first uh, set up YouTube, uh, it might ask you to go through some sort of settings. I'll force it to go into settings. In case you ever want to go into settings afterwards, right, if I'm pointing at that, what I can do is right-click on it and do something. Now, you can right-click on anything, Cody, but a nice thing about Cody is you can use a keyboard function, and that's the C key. C stands for Context Menu. So if I press the C key, I get a context menu pops up. And one of the things I get is information. There's the information about Kodi, about YouTube in Kodi, right? I can either open it, I can configure it, I can update it, I can auto update, disable it or uninstall it, right? And it tells me a little bit about uh, the, the add-on that I've added, which is called the plugin for YouTube, okay? All right, if I press backspace, I'm back to where I work. Press the C key again, and this time I'm going to go to settings. Right? Under settings, I've got a whole lot of settings, general, MPEG folders, etc., API, maintenance. Under the general one, on the right-hand side here, is a good thing to set up is what's the quality of the video you want. You can set it, as you can see, if I press enter on there, I can set it at 1080, 720, 480, 360. This is how big the video is, how many dots per inch there are, basically. Well, not really dots per inch, the resolution of the video. I'll set it at the highest quality so it comes out nice and big, right? It comes out the best quality. Another thing that's worthwhile putting, uh, setting up encoding is this history one. Where is it? 
there we are. Uh, search history, search history size. I've probably got it set at 41. I'll change that and make it up to say 100, 101, whatever. Okay, that means when you do do a search within you, you, uh, the YouTube, uh, uh, within YouTube, which we'll show you how to do in a minute, it'll remember the last 101 searches. So it's quite handy. So if you search for something, you can find it again, right? You just go back to the, the history of where you're doing the search for it, okay? That's uh, all the settings in the cover in the moment. There's a lot more settings you can do, but I won't do, uh, do that. So we'll just say OK to that, OK? Righto, uh, let's actually go into YouTube itself and show you what YouTube's all about, OK? Well, I've jumped out of it by mistake by using the mouse. That's a disadvantage using mouse. Things jump all over the place. Keyboard's easier, OK? Go to add-ons again. Go across to YouTube and press enter. OK, when you first go into YouTube, you've got all this functionality. You've got three dots, two dots. Two dots simply means if you press enter on there, it will take you back, well, to where you came from. <laughs> I, I thought it did, but it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, it takes you back to another entry. Okay. Uh, so pressing enter again, all right? Going into YouTube. All right. You've got that. You've got a thing called sign in. Now, a lot of people and some even some uh, videos I've looked at come up and say, you, you should, if to get the full functionality of uh, uh, YouTube and Kodi, you've got to sign in. I disagree with that. You don't have to sign in. And by the way, you can only sign in if you've got a YouTube account, which means you've got a Gmail account or a Google account, right? If you haven't got that, it's useless trying to sign in because you won't be able to sign in. You need to have one member sign in. You can sign in. I, I have in the past. Uh, I find it to be completely unnecessary. A couple of other things. Popular right now, which is the same thing which is on the normal YouTube thing. Search we'll cover in a minute. Completed live. That means people have had something running live and they've just recently completed it. You can go and look what's there. Upcoming live. What's going to be live on YouTube? Just like there's live TV and recorded TV, there is a live and recorded YouTube. Upcoming live means someone said that they're going to set something up and in a few minutes or a few hours' time that's going to be live on YouTube. All right, upcoming live, or you can go directly into live. Switching users is uh, where you've signed in and you've got more than one user, you can switch users. And in settings, settings is all about that same screen we had before. This one here, to show that. Come on, jump into settings. There, that's the same thing I had before. Okay, that's it. I'm out of settings. All right, the main thing I use most of the time in YouTube is, uh, and Cody is search. So you want to search for something, all right? Press enter in search. Notice the first entry is new search, and then I've got one, two, three, four entries. Because I set that thing at 101 before, I could have up 101 other things that I've previously searched for. Now, you can't get this, I don't think so, in uh, the uh, internet ver normal internet version of YouTube doesn't remember your previous searches. Here it does. So I did one before on how to use Kodi. So if I just press enter on that, it would do a search on how to use Kodi. I did one there, one there, one there, whatever. So I won't go into that because it'll take too long. I'm going to do a new search. Let's say we want to search for something. So you simply press new search and it comes up with a keyboard. By the way, the keyboard under Kodi, it's got this bit at the bottom here where you can actually touch the keys. I'm using a full keyboard, so I don't need to do that. But uh, it has a bit of a problem if you want to edit something. Always leave it on OK. And if I want to, let's say I want to search for uh, something to do with drones. I'll put in drone. And also a place, which is Cape York. Cape York, Y-O-R-K. Uh, Y-O-R-K. I'll make a mistake for me. Oh, okay, and I've made a, mis a mistake. So uh, if I've made a mistake and I need to go back, you can't just use the arrow keys in Kodi. What you've got to do is hold the control key down and press the arrow keys. Then you can go back. So if I take out that E, go over, hold the control key again, Y-O-R-K, that's right up. So drone KPL. And the reason I've called up drone KPL, drone stands for 
quadcopters or drones. I have one. Uh, great thing about drones is there's video of drones, thousands of, if not hundreds of thousands of videos uh, on the uh, in YouTube, have uh, taken all around the world. So if you want to see us all different places around the world, well worthwhile doing it on uh, uh, YouTube in Cody, and also preferably then have Cody your YouTube Cody box or whatever you're using for Cody connected to a big screen TV because it's much easier to see on a big screen TV. And also you can use a, a remote, uh, uh, your phone is remote. I'll do another video on that one day. All right, if I press enter on that, it's now doing a search for that. Okay, and comes up. Now, that was quite quick because I've done this uh, search once before. All right, there we are. It's come up with some uh, a whole lot of videos all right uh, 50 on a screen because that was set as another setting i could change that to 100 whatever but it gives you a couple of other things as well it gives you each of the things that it's found right and as i move down each one it changes the view of it over on the left or it should be changing the view there's that one there's that one there's that one all right or you've got these three things up the top now i'll explain what these are channels that means there are different, on YouTube, there are channels. Example, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Jeff Grape YouTube channel. People have as many channels they like. It's a little bit like the channels on a, a um, TV set, except one station can have multiple channels. For example, uh, I, I've only got one channel, but I could have multiple channels on my YouTube and have different channels for different things. So if I press enter on channels now, it's going to go and show me YouTube videos for drone um, uh, Cape York and all the channels there are for it. So there's one for Reef Haven, the Surf Coast, Rogue Life, Outback and Off-Road, etc. There are four full drive people, all sorts of things. So I can go look at that way. Right. So that's what channels are. You can go back and look at different channels. I can either press enter on the two dots, which takes me back, or I could press the backspace, which takes me back. Now, playlists. Now, within channels, people can create playlists. Now, playlists are things that are grouped together. For example, I do training on how to use Android uh, as well as PCs. So I have a playlist for uh, Android, um, uh, uh, Android training. So there could be people that have got playlists that have uh, something to do with Cape York drones. So they go into that. Press enter, it's going to go on way to the internet and have a look for it, see if it can find it. We'll find out. And while it's doing that, I'll explain the next one, which is live. Live simply means that there's something currently live being broadcast. Right? So there we are. There's playlists. Drones, drone footage, Nova Scotia drone, Australia, right? Popular drone, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So they're playlists. By the way, I press the left arrow then. I can change the search, the auto can search on that, etc. I'll make a cap of that now, right? Okay. Go back to where we were. By the way, I don't have to be at the top one. I can be in the middle one. Press backspace and takes me back to that playlist. As I said before, live simply tells you anything live. Now, I doubt if there's anybody broadcasting live uh, from Cape York uh, on a drone. Oh, there we are. Sea Point, Cape Town, live stream. Live Cam in Alberta. I don't know what it is. Okay. Cape Town. That's not, that's probably got, these have got the word Cape in it, obviously. So I could go and have a look at the, the Seaport uh, uh, live stream of um, um, Cape Town, but I won't. All right. It looks like it is live because I think that's today's date. Today's date and probably the time in this Alberta. No, that's currently a live, a live feed. Okay. But it's not from a drone. That's from a uh, live stream of something else. Okay. Didn't even know you could do that. Okay. That all being said, let's say we actually want to start playing the video. To play a video, all I do is put my pointer on it and press enter and point it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it a slightly different way. If I did that, I could watch that one and then move to another one and watch that one and move to another one and watch that one. But if I right-click or press the C key, which stands for context menu, I get this. And one of the items on this is is play from here if i press on enter on play from here it will actually start that video and actually create what's called a playlist 
There you are, started the video. Right. Cape York to the tip and back. Right. Some of Australia's toughest to learn. Okay, all right. If I press the space bar, by the way, in Cody, it pauses. Or if you don't have a space bar, you can use the mouse pointer and come over here and click on that, which pauses. Okay. So I can pause that. And I can watch that whole video or watch it, whatever. Or what I can also do, so I've got these buttons. That says play the previous thing in the, uh, the playlist, play the next one in the playlist, all right? So if I go over here now, uh, if I, um, sample, start playing it, and while that's playing, click on that one. Nice little circle comes up, starting to load up, ready to play the, the next one, and it stops playing that one and starts playing the next one. So there's another video. Do that same thing again, all right? Just go down to the bottom there, click on that, play the next one. So once again, the little wheel's going around. So if you leave it, it'll just keep on playing and play all those videos for hours and hours and hours and hours. Obviously, you need to have yourself a good, a, um, by the way, if you want to go to the northernmost part of Australia, that's where that guy is. He's got a drone. He's going to show some drone footage of that in a minute. Perhaps. Let's right. see what he shows. Come on, show us some drone stuff. Oh, there's Brent's drones going to take off. We don't want to see the drone going up in the air. We want to see what the footage the drone's showing us. Okay. All right. Not to worry. There we are. Let's start at start it. So that's what it looks like at the northernmost part of Australia. There's that sign. Okay, pause it. By the way, there are certain controls for pausing, play, stop, information, bookmarks, subtitles, settings. I'm not going to go over all those. That's the normal general things you use in coding anyway. All right. Okay. Uh, so that's those things. Another little thing I'd like to point out, while you're playing a video, you can be playing the video or you can pause the video. It doesn't really matter. I'll continue playing. Oh, no, I won't play it. I can do that. If I press the backspace now, all right. Oops, I'll do that again. Okay. Notice I've gone back to that menu. That video is still in the background. Press backspace again. Takes me back again. I can press backspace again and keep on going back, right back to the main menu of Kodi while that video is still actually operating. New search, search, go back. There I am. Go to other things. Go look at my other things. You notice in the background there, look at the weather, look at videos, look at pictures. As long as I don't actually start something else that's displaying on the screen, that video will stay there. To get back to the video, I just press the tab key, boom, I'm back to the video. Okay, tab key again, I'm back to the, 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 the menus. All right, so you don't have to actually have, you can do other things while in the middle of playing it. For example, I press the tab key now, this is space bar starts playing the video, tab key. I'm back doing these other things. Okay. All right. Okay, let's uh, pause that video again. All right. Uh, Rodeo, so let's uh, show a couple of other things you can do with these videos. So we'll go back to where I was on the, those add-ons, YouTube. Right. I come out of that search again. I've got to go into it again. The advantage is I don't have to. Uh, type in that search. That notice that search has still been remembered. Cape York, uh, Cape Drone Cape York is still there. All right, so I don't have to go put it in again. It's nice to go through and for it. But let's say I wanted to find out more. That guy's done a video on this particular thing. I want to find other videos that this guy's actually done. All right, I'm pointed at that one, and while I'm pointing at that one, if I press the C key or right click, it comes up, and it goes down to Go to fishing missions. In other words, this YouTube channel is called fishing missions. If I do that, it's searching and it'll come up with fishing missions, right? This is all the uh, ones that this guy's done. And notice he's done a number of them on Cape York. He's done part one, part two, part three, right? Uh, and other stuff of fishing missions. In addition to that, those same things that we had at the top in the other list are still there. Playlist, search, or live, right? 
if we can see if he's doing something live at the moment, we can search in amongst that group or we can go to playlists. If I go to his playlists, he might have a playlist complete with the KPL. No, this guy hasn't set up any playlists. It's got no playlists at all. Okay, we'll just go back. Okay. All right, so if I want to look at the second part of these Cape York thing, I can do that, or the third part, I can do that. All right. Okay. So another thing too, again, I come out of that and then go uh, that guy's same guy again and uh, press, whoops, I'll make sure I'm on it. See? I can, in addition to doing all those other things, I can do these things from here. One of them is, for example, add to favorites. So if I'm really, really happy with this video and I want to be able to get back to it again, I can say add to favorites. So I click on add to favorites there, then press tab to go back to where I was before. All right. Come back out of this. Go right back to my Cody first menu. And under videos there, there's one thing called favorites. You'll notice an item has been put there, drone footage, northmost point of Australia, Cape York. Okay. So it's put it on favorites, which is completely independent. This is in Cody itself, completely independent of the YouTube uh, functionality, all right? Uh, YouTube add-on on Cody. It's in favorites in Cody itself. Okay. All right. Going back to where we were before, uh, add-ons, YouTube. Okay. Search again. I search for something else. Uh, Cape York. Uh, Cape York stuff, right? I'll come up with those ones. I'll go to another one. Example, uh, saying Australian cans, the Cape York example, that one. And I'll go and have a look at some additional information about that one. So if I press C for uh, um, context menu or right click, notice it also says um, queue the video. That means I can queue this video up. Notice and that will end up playing after the other video. So when I queue up videos, it's putting into what's called a playlist. So I can do that. And all I've done is queue the video. So if I want to go to that one and queue that one, I can simply do that and say, queue that video. So I'm going to do that one. So when I go to my next one, rather than going all in the list, it'll have them though queued up in that particular order. Okay. Other things that are in the thing. We've got a thing called more. So once you've searched for something, you can search for more associated with it. In other words, if I go into that, that's not going to work. There it is. And you can do more related videos or more videos from the description. Right? So I can go into that. So I go more videos from the description or related videos. We'll probably have videos about, you know, Cape York only or drones only or, or something like that. Okay. So there's a lot of functionalities built into this. Okay. So there we are. There's the old telegraph track in Cape York. If I come out, I'll just go back to that. So with the old telegraph track at Cape York. In other words, this is stuff about Cape York, but not necessarily about drones. Right? A whole lot of other stuff. All right. Okay, uh, once again, if I go into the thing rather than more, I can play it with subtitles, I can play it, the market is watched, I can play it using another player, I can play from here, which I did before, I can add to play favourites, right? Uh, nice thing of playing with subtitles, by the way, I've discovered even the videos that I make, uh, YouTube automatically creates the subtitles for it. I don't have to do it, it just does it all completely automatically. So if you're hard of hearing, you can switch subtitles on. Okay, that's enough about that, most of all. Uh, one thing I will say, uh, if I go back to a previous search that I've done, if I can find one, uh, uh, how to use Cody uh, YouTube, and call up some items that I've done there. Notice in this particular one, the search, the listing, it's got, rather than just having dots on the left-hand side like always, that one's got a tick there. That tick indicates that I've previously watched that video. Don't know how long it keeps it, how long I've previously watched it and completed it. That one there means I've started watching but have not completed it. So if I press enter on that one, it comes up and tells me I've watched it up to 6 minutes and 13 seconds. Do I want to resume from that point or I want to start from the beginning? So another little nice feature about Cody, which isn't uh, 
available on the normal YouTube. Okay, just a couple of other things while we're talking about YouTube. Um, there's a couple of things that Cody cannot do that uh, YouTube, that you can do on YouTube, and there's only two things that I'm aware of. So to show you what that is, right, if I go into Cody here and, for example, click on a YouTube video there. What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for watching. It's Cody okay. and Alyssa. There's uh, and we're back with an item there, all right? When I call up that list underneath there, it shows the description of what's about, and you can get that description in Cody. It also says show more. If the person has put a link in there to other things, for example, this one, to subscribe, you go to that, I can't click on that in Cody. It won't go to it. So that's the first thing it can't do. The other thing that it can't do is under uh, YouTube, if you go on a computer, right? And she's just got lots of stuff there. It's also got comments. This particular person on that particular video has got 1,195 comments. So which is basically a blog about the, the video. And here are all the comments, right? You cannot see that within Cody, right? They're the two things you, you can't do. Everything else you can do and a lot of thing, other things you can do. And the most important thing that you can do is watch videos without actually having to watch advertisements. Okay. That's it. All right. Have you got any questions about using um, uh, YouTube in Kodi or you want to install YouTube in Kodi, uh, send me an email, uh, contact me in every way you can, and I can see if I can help you out or even do another video that explains how to do it. As I said uh, at the beginning, a really nice thing about a uh, 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 way of using Kodi and the way I use it is have it going on a big screen TV. It's much, much better on a big screen TV. Okay. Um, I'm recording all this in Google Hangout on air. I'm going to stop recording that now, I think. Yep, that's where I will stop the broadcast in a minute. Uh, but rather than doing that, I'll come out of this and unscreen share so it returns to me. There I am. All right. I always like to stick my face at the beginning of the end of the video. All right. Okay, I cancel that. Okay. Didn't want to do that. So that's bye for now. If you guys said any questions on that, give us a uh, drop us an email, ring us, whatever. Contact me somehow. Bye.